Welcome back to Dilemma's Concepts. We're looking at translation in this uh, presentation. So here it is that we have the pre-image. So we have the pre-image. So this is our pre-image right here, BGT. And we want to translate it using five units to the right, one unit up. The good thing with the translation is that we can zoom in on each vertex and we're going to move them accordingly. For example, we're going to move vertex B here and we're going to move it five units to the right. Let's count one, two, three, four, five to the right, then one up, one. So B is now here as B prime, right? And take a look at image. We normally have that little comma thing there. It's a prime. We call it prime. And this is the pre-image, which is just like a regular letter from the alphabet. All right, let us take a move um, on T. T is going to move five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five units to the right, then one up, one. So T is right here as T prime. G would undergo a similar operation. So it's going to move five to the right and one up. One, two, three, four four, five units to the right, then one up to here. So basically all we have to do now is to reconnect this shape. So this is G prime, and we're gonna recreate the shape. So that's the translation. In this one, what we're gonna do is to move the object one unit left and then two upwards. We're gonna move the three vertices. So we're going to start with Y. One to the left, two up. So the Y prime is now here. G, one to the left, two up. So the G prime is right here. M, one to the left, two up. So the M prime is right here. So all we're going to do now is to recreate this shape. All right, so there, there it is that we actually translate M, G, Y to M prime, G prime, Y prime. All right, let's do the third example. So in this example, we're going to move uh, um, this object three units down. So let us focus on the vertices. So Q will move one, two, three down to here. And this is now Q prime. L will move one, two, three down to here. And this becomes L prime. U will move one, two, three down. And this becomes U prime. So all we're going to do now is to reconnect what we have. This travel downwards to that. Five units right, two units up. So let us say we start with X. One, two, three, four, five, and two up. One, two, right here. So this is now my X prime, E, one, two, three, four, five, one, two up, it's right here. This is my E prime, I, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two up right here, and that's my I prime. So if we should just connect this, There it is. We just translated that pre-image to here. Now, in this case, we're, we want to describe the transformation. We're definitely looking at, we're looking at the pre-image and the image. And then sometimes you may wonder, how do you know? In this case, the pre-image is always the regular letters from the alphabet without any adjustment. So K, I, 
Z. That's the image. That's the pre-image. The image will be K prime, I prime, and Z prime. So you could see the difference. The image will always have the little comma right here. We call it a prime. So one just needs to identify the image from the pre-image and you're good. So in this case, you can see that the blue one I'm looking at is my image. The movements of the translation right now, we're moving from pre-image to the image. So this is the original thing that we got. That's the original figure that we got. So the question is, there are three options here. One, we could look at K to K prime or I to I prime, or we could look at Z to Z prime. These are corresponding points from the pre-image to the image. So we're going to take a look at K, we're going to look at this one, from K to K prime, All right? So we're going to look at from K to K prime. So let's take a look. From K to K prime, we're going to, we're right here, right here. So we want to think in terms of the motion of a translation, we want to move left or right first. So we're going to move horizontally first before we move up or down. So we're going to move from K. If we go to the left, we're not going to line up with K. So definitely we have to go to the right first. So one, two to the right, and then one down. So basically we move two units right, then one unit down, and we are right. So that's the translation. So let us try Z to see if it works with Z. We're going to move two to the right, one, two to the right, then one down. Then this will work. Let's see if it works for I. One, two units to the right, one down. So it works. So that is the translation. Two units, right, one down. Let's take a look at question eight. All right, so in this one that we have, the main thing is that we want to make sure that we can identify the object differently from the or the pre-image from the image. We're looking at V T I J. This is my pre-image. My image is V prime. T prime, I prime, and J prime. The image comes with the prime on it. So we're moving from pre-image to image. So let's take another look. So let us say we're going to have to now look at corresponding points from pre-image to pre to image. So how did the V reach the V prime? How did the T reach T prime, the I, I prime, and the J to J prime? Let's look at V. V to V prime, we're right here and right here. We could see that you would have moved from V one place to the left and then one up. And it reads, so this is one unit left, then one unit up. Let us try it for T. One to the left, then one up. Still work. So V, we just saw V works, T works. Let's look at I. One to the left, one up. I works, J, one to the left, one up, and we reach. So that was actually the translation. 
one unit to the left and one up. Let's take a look at this case. So in this case, this is my free image here. And this one with the prime is my image. As you could see, we move one place to the right. So this is one unit right. And I would have reached, if I try H to, to H prime, one unit to the right, and to N prime, one unit to the right. This one does not have a up or down because when we move one unit to the right, we had a right, right? Already, so we move from U to U prime, N to N prime, and from H to H prime. Let's take a look at the last one. For this last one, this down here is my image. How did I know? I'm seeing the primes on these. L prime, P prime, A prime. Now, I'm going to be zooming on, zooming in on uh, A to A prime first. As you could see, my pre-image is A. I'm gonna move one unit to the right and then one, two, three down. So this translation is one unit right, three units down, and we would have arrived. Let's try L. One to the right, one, two, three down, it worked. Let's try P, one to the right and then one, two, three units down and it worked. So this was the translation for that. Thank you for watching Delimas concept. See you next time.